Welcome to Feet. Hi, I'm Jacob. Today, we are going to make this effect, which is a mixture of fake scan lines and fake chromatic aberration. Let's begin. Create a new general file, click on the camera, and remove its rotation and location. Move the camera up and change into camera view. Resize the shape of the box to just fit your camera viewport. Then apply all the transformations. Now it's time to go into the shading workspace. Go back to camera view, delete the principal BSDF, add a mixed color node, turn the B color into black, drag off from the factor and add a wave texture, and set the scale to 50. Hi, it's Jacob from the future. Make sure to change the axes from X to Y. Press Ctrl T to add mapping and texture coordinates. Import your video or image, then connect it to the mixed color. For the video, just extend the frames for how long you want it to go for and offset it to change where frame zero starts from. And remember to click auto refresh. It will be upside down or something. So select it and press Ctrl T like before and change the texture coordinate from UV to generated. That's it for the scan lines. Now for the chromatic aberrations. Drag off from the video and add a separate XYZ node. Select that and the texture coordinate, map it and video and duplicate all of those two more times. Add a combined XYZ node and connect the first X to the X and so on. Replace the video that was going to the color with the combined XYZ vector. If nothing changes, that's perfect. Now, when you change these mapping nodes, it will create the effect. You can change the location to offset the color or you can change the scale like X to 0.96, then the X location to like 0.02 to have the video sharp in the center and more extreme as you get further away from the center. Once you're happy, go to the output properties and change the file format to FFmpeg, then save it and render it, and you're done. If you just have an image, a fact you can do is animate the scan lines, which is as easy as putting hash frame as the phase offset for the wave texture. That's all, and thanks for watching. The last decade has seen a renaissance for international terrorism. This has been precipitated, at least in part, by a status quo of negotiation and concession, enabling many recent terrorist actions to be successful for their perpetrators. These successes increase the various groups' perceived legitimacy.